Hey guys, welcome to another video. I really appreciate you joining today. Today, I wanted to do another Witch Shoe for You video on two of my favorite daily trainers. I have the Ultra Escalante 3 and the Atreyu Base Model Version 2. Both these shoes I think are excellent daily trainers. Uh, you can use them for a variety of different runs. Uh, they're not plated shoes, they're everyday trainers. Uh, I think they work great for all sorts of distances. People, I know people that run marathons in both of them. I typically prefer both these up to 10 to 10 miles to a half marathon. Uh, I'm, they are basically my daily trainers that I'll, I'll go out and do usually four to eight mile runs, uh, very typically. Uh, there are some similarities between the shoes and there are some definite differences uh, and I just want to talk a little bit about them and why you might want, want to choose one or the other based on your use case. Uh, first the Escalante 3. Uh, it is from Ultra so it has it is a zero drop shoe or balanced cushioning as Ultra now calls it. Uh, meaning the stack height of the heel and the forefoot are the same. In this case, they are 24 millimeters. It has their Ego midsole, which is a TPU-based midsole. So it actually has some pretty good bounce uh, and some pretty good cushion. It, it feels nice on the road. It's very comfortable. Uh, it comes with Ultra's foot-shaped toe box. This comes in their standard fit, so it's a fairly wide forefoot, which is uh, nice for a lot of people. I really enjoy actually the wider toe box. Uh, it is also a great shoe for, because of the zero drop, I find it a great shoe for uh, foot strengthening. I find that walking around or running in zero drop shoes kind of strengthens your feet and allows uh, them to do better when you get to uneven territory or even just uh, building up your mileage. If your feet are stronger, you're less likely to get injured. So for me, it has worked out that well, running in low and zero and low drop shoes. I think my feet have gotten stronger and my injury from repetitive stress injuries has gone down. Uh, your mileage may vary, but that's how it has worked for me. Uh, the Atreyu version two, uh, base model version two, has also been an excellent daily trainer. It has a six millimeter stack height. Now it is a little bit lower to the ground than the uh, Escalante. It is 15 and a half in the forefoot, 21 and a half in the rear for a six millimeter drop. Uh, I found that anything between zero and six millimeter drop usually works pretty well for me. And uh, these shoes have been very good. Um, it uses a super critical EVA foam, which so it is also a, a bouncy and cushioned ride. Uh, very comfortable. It's a very nice thin upper which breathes real well. Um, and they they fit me very well and are very comfortable. Um, so these have been very good shoes. Again, I, I find the cushioning, I, I do tend to prefer on both these shoes a little bit thicker. Um, stack height when I'm running longer than half marathon. But up to a half marathon, these have been, these have been great. The fit is great on both pairs of shoes. Now on to some of the differences and why you might choose one over the other. If you're looking for a foot strengthening shoe, uh, I'll lean, lean toward the Escalante 3 just because it has the zero millimeter drop. Uh, I also find that if, if you want a wider forefoot, the Escalante 3 is preferred there. Uh, I have a standard size foot and I find that the a Treyu base model V2 uh, fits me quite well and it's extremely comfortable. But if you uh, need a wider forefoot, I would consider getting the Escalante 3. As far as, um, I mean, as far as the foams go, I, I think they're both very bouncy and comfortable. Uh, they're very good for the majority of your daily runs. I don't really find a difference there. Now, as far as if you're gonna run fast in the two shoes, uh, I actually would then prefer the Atreyu, uh, partly because the, the weight of the shoes. This the Escalante 3s come in at 9.3 ounces in a men's size 9, whereas your Atreyu base model V2s come in at about 6 ounces. So that is a pretty uh, 
big difference. So you're well over three ounces lighter in the Atreus, which gives you a lighter uh, on foot feel. And uh, it, it definitely feels a little lighter and fit quicker in these shoes. Uh, also, I would say that the Atreus are probably a little bit better in the heat. So if you're in a really hot climate, like even here in Texas in the summer, it is uh, extremely hot. I find throwing on the Atreus for a run out, out in the heat is preferable just because the material is a little thinner and lighter and it, it's a little more comfortable in the heat. Um, another uh, thing to consider is if you have trouble getting your shoes on, which I don't really have a lot of trouble with either one of these, the Atreyu is a little bit more not slip in because of the fitted way the upper is. Uh, it has the nice pull tab, which I think is an, a plus. Um, but very good shoes. Now, as far as durability goes, the I'm, I'm estimating that the Escalante 3s are going to last me somewhere between three and 500 miles, more likely around the 400 mile mark. The Atreyus I have found uh, wear fairly quickly because you're running on a, whereas the, there's a lot of rubber on the Escalante 3s. When you go to the Atreyus, you're actually just running on a rubberized EVA. And I have found I wear out the soles and it, it gets into the cushioning and I, I feel uh, usually like retiring them a little over 200 miles. So you definitely get a lot more miles out of the Escalante 3s. Now price per mile, I uh, haven't exactly figured out which one is better because you're able to buy the Atreyu base model V2s for only $85. So it is a better thing on your budget initially. Um, the Escalante 3s cost $140. But again, I think you might get close to double the useful miles. So um, kind of a trade-off. Uh, I've actually got another pair of, the first pair of Atreyu base models I had, I did about 200 miles in them and decided it was time to retire them. I have a pair right now that I'm at about 250 miles. So it even varies from pair to pair. This particular pair I've put on about 90 miles, but they've still got a lot of life in them left. But um, Anyway, so just things to consider. Uh, the choice is up to you. Uh, you can go with, if you're interested in one of these models. Uh, of course, there's also a lot of other good daily trainers out there to consider. Uh, you also need to think about, do you want something more cushioned because you're doing more long runs or easy runs? Uh, I can do a recovery day in these, but I do also prefer a little bit more cushion for a, a recovery day or my long runs. Anyway, just something to consider. Uh, I hope you found the comparison interesting. If you like the video, please consider hitting the thumbs up, the like button. If this is your first time to my channel and you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Other than that, I hope you're having a great week and keep moving.